It's your boy Ice. Back again. Back to Trim Tab. One of my new favorite southern breweries. Um, I haven't seen anybody that I know review this. I think there were other YouTubers that reviewed it that I don't, I don't know. Them. And I have this thing where if I stumble upon your video and I've never seen your videos before, I'm going to scroll through the comment list. And if I see anybody I recognize, like a lot of times I see Maple Cook a lot of times. He seems to check out everybody. That dude is awesome. Um, or I might see this guy's thoughts. Or I might see a beer day with TK. There's different folks that I would see. So I would subscribe to them and I'd follow them. But, you know, if I don't see any, anybody and I'm not really that fascinated by your content, then I just keep it moving. So I haven't seen any of my fellow uh, beer tubers re review anything from Trim Tab. So feel honored to do that. They're out of Alabama, which, like I said, uh, I know good people. And there's a couple others that I can't remember their, their exact names. But good people is the one I remember, which they're, they're all right. But this is... And they come out with beers like this. Check it out. This is called You Cannot Singularity IPA. Triple dry hopped with 100% You Cannot hops. I'm not even that familiar with You Cannot hops. I've had beers. I've had doubles that had it in there. But this is 100%. Then they got little quotes. Hope is important because it can make the present moment less difficult to bear. If we believe that tomorrow will be better. We can bear a hardship today. Tik Nach Han. I don't know who that is, but this is the Light Visions Collection. Create a world you love. 7.4%. Let's go. Review the beer from them already. I squeeze it into the to the winners, the winners row. Oh, we're looking good so far. We're coming out looking. Looking like some, some dull pineapple juice with a little bit of syrup added to it. It's not completely bright yellow, but yeah, that I've never smelled anything like that. <laughs> Maybe that's what 100% you cannot hop smells like. I can't even describe that. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, maybe like peaches. Not peaches and cream, not orange dreamsicle. Cause there's a nuttiness to this. There's an earthiness to it, but it's fruity. Like peaches, like a trail mix, but peach heavy. Peach heavy, then they threw some cashews in there. You know, cashews have that kind of velvet Cashews is in a class of their own in the in the in the nut world. Because you really can't I could give you a bag of mixed nuts and blindfold you, and you'd pretty much know which one the cashew is, you know? <laughs> this is that's what I'm getting with this. It's a softness to it. All right, guys, enough talk. Cheers. Mm. The mouth feel right on the money. Yeah, yeah. I bought a single of this. Oh, we got floaties too. You guys can't see the floaties, but they're in there. I bought a single of this, and the way they do it at this particular gas station, every time they ring you up, it'll come up as the as the, as the four pack. So it came up sixteen ninety nine. So what he does is. He, he takes a calculator and he just divides that by four. And that's what he charged me for this. And that's a fair price. I actually would go back and get a four pack of this. Which is saying a lot. Because y'all know I, I I like single. I like to get singles. Unless it's a, if it's remarkable, I'd get the whole pack. I'd get the whole pack of this. Oh yeah, for sure. He kind of got like the orange Julius. This is like on, this is up there. This is up there. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to say hot butcher quality. Close. Bearded Iris. Southern Gris. No, not some sycamores. 
this is not touching nugs and kisses, but it's close. It's close. I'd say this is better than like Mountain Candy by Sycamore, which is one of their lesser popular. Well, that was one of the first beers that they made. And I think they're in their, in, in their case, they got better as they went on. And some breweries do that. I like Red Hair. Sugar High. Y'all see that Sugar High? Red Hair has been out for a long time. And they just dropped that. That's one of their newest beers. And it's remarkable. So sometimes you have to develop your craft. Or sometimes you just come out the gate swinging like these guys. I never heard of these dudes. Drop a link. Drop a comment. Anybody has had anything from them? Reviewed anything from them? I mean, ksh. my guy Wayne's never heard of him. He's in South Carolina. I know my boy Ridge never heard of him. He can't get this. Not yet. On our next trade, though, I think I might have to go ahead and grab a couple of these these trim tabs, bro. This is yeah. My only drawback with this, when I hear triple dry hopped, I just assume it's gonna be stronger. The seven point six. That's cool. I mean, I like seven. My new number is eight. No, this is 7.4. My new number is eight to nine to where the, I don't really have to drink as much. I'm kind of getting into that mode. Um, you know, some days it's just better to just, like, just get a, 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 a stout, <laughs> a 12% stout, and just drink that, and that's all I need, as opposed to, you know, I see people drink light beer, and they drink so much of it. <laughs> What's the point? You bought a 30-pack of Miller Lite and you drank half the case. So you you buy a pack of Miller Lite every other day. Come on, man. <laughs> You're just going to get fat, bro. Even off that light beer. Because people think, uh, when I bartended, I, there was a guy that would come through. And he said he was trying to lose weight. And he would order like 10 Michelob Ultras. He'd sit there and read and eat his little salad. And he'd order beer. He'd drink them quick. And I'd be like, you ready for the next one? Yep, keep going. Keep going. Michelob Ultra. Like, all right, so you just had 10 of them. That's low carb, but is it though? You just had a lot of those, bro. Those those, those little 2.5 grams, that's going to add up. So you better off, if, if, if you're really watching your carbs and you still want to continue to drink, you can't go wrong with a skinny margarita. When I say a skinny margarita, I mean tequila and lime juice. That's my definition of a skinny margarita. No... No, no, nothing with the sugar, <laughs> just tequila and lime. If you want to do that, you want because you, you're low carb and you still get a nice little buzz. So, man, guys, I made about an eight minute video. Y'all know I normally don't do that. Would I buy this again? I'm gonna buy this again. Would I recommend this? I'm trying to. I'm trying to promote them. Um, anybody had this? I feel like I'm like the only one. That's kind of cool in a way, but you know, I want to bond with y'all. So. Mm, that's so good. All right, guys. Till next time. Cheers.